Hello, welcome back to Spins on Cycling, Granger, Indiana. As promised, bringing to you the Christmas Gift Ideas 2023 Stocking Stuffer Edition. What can you put in the cycling enthusiast's stocking that he or she will appreciate? We've got a lot of consumables uh, here on this list. Items that um, the person in your life may already have stocked up for all their cycling adventures. But it's stuff that they're going to go through, and if you get it for them, eventually you use it. So stuff that they're going to appreciate. First item on the list for our Christmas gift ideas for stocking stuffers here at Spin Zone is chamois creams. Um, it's something that they use every single ride. So it's something they're going to go through. If you're not sure how much uh, they have stocked up, then you may not want to get them the big tube there. So you can get them a smaller tube or you can even get them samples. Samples are a great idea if you're not sure um, what their favorite chamois butter is or chamois cream, I should say. Rather, it's chamois butter or buttonhole or who all glide. Um, they're all pretty similar. Um, they all uh, accomplish the same thing. Um, but everybody does have uh, his or her favorite. So um, if you're not sure um, what kind they like in particular, you can get them a small sample size. That makes it easy for them to carry in their bag in case they get to an event, um, in their in their frame-mounted bag on their bike in case they get to an event and they realize their event vac bag where they had everything packed um, didn't have any chamois butter Um that's going to make them miserable the next day after the event. So if they have backups like that or sample sizes are just good to try different kinds, um, especially if it's something that they're not used to using um, or if they've only tried one kind, um, you know, they're probably going to be open to trying different ones um, to see if it affects them differently. Similar to that is nutrition. Again, it, nutrition is an item that they're using probably just about every single ride. Um, you may not know what exact flavor they want or what brand they like, um, but you can get them um, pretty much any type of small nutrition, that stocking stuffer. It's something that they can keep in their bag. They can try different flavors, try a different brand, see how they like it, and see how it affects their performance. And you can get them gels, chews, um, hammer bars, um, you can get them um, water additives too to help them stay hydrated during their ride. So the fizz tabs, um, the scratch lab hydration mixes, anything like that is something that they're going to use up. Other consumable is going to be chain lubricant. So <clears throat> a bottle of this like Dumonde Tech this size can last quite a while. But if somebody's really um, being diligent on keeping their chain lubed up, they're definitely going to go through it. Um, so another small tube in their stocking is definitely not something they're going to turn their nose up to and say, well, why'd you get me this? I already have some. Um, it's always nice to have an extra bottle, especially if you um, if you set it down somewhere um, you know, falls down underneath your workbench or something. Maybe hard to find if you've got an extra bottle. You can keep taking care of stuff. Um, inner tubes are something that all the serious cyclists are going to have stocked. But if they're riding a lot, they're eventually going to um, get a puncture in their tire, in their tube, and have to swap it out. So having backups, it's nice. Even if you just keep them um, stocked somewhere in your garage or wherever you store your bike. And when you do take one of those trips that you have to swap out your tube halfway through it. Um, when you get back home, you can take one of these tubes out of the box and throw it in your bag. And you've got your backup tube for your next ride. Um, it's always nice to have backup tubes for your backup tubes. So when you use them, you can throw it in. You don't have to worry about forgetting about it. Um, oh, next time I go on a ride, I need to get another tube because I'm probably eventually going to use it. Um, I'm pr probably going to eventually going to need it. 
Um, sometimes you forget and you go on four or five rides and now you're not remembering to stop by the shop or um, go somewhere and pick up a tube and next thing you know you end up getting another tire and you're stranded somewhere and you're pushing your bike back same thing with the co2 cartridges um, probably plenty of them laying around but um, they don't take up that much space so it's kind of hard to have so many of them that you know it destroys your life they're definitely going to use them eventually if they're riding a lot computer mounts and light mounts are something nice to have if you have multiple bikes especially you know these mounts are made for quick releases so you can get your devices on and off of the bikes without any trouble um, if you have to switch them from one bike to the other though and you don't have an extra mount then it can be a little bit more difficult to get those rubber bands or those clamps or whatever it's using um, whatever the device is using to mount it to the frame it can be a little bit more difficult to get them from one frame to the other where if you already have the mounts on your bike you know it's just a matter of a second or two at most then get them switched over so those are always something nice to have so that he so that you can keep your all your bikes up and running keep all your bikes moving none of your bikes are sitting all of your old bikes that you kind of still like because um at one time they were your best bike and you've got a lot of miles on them you can keep them up and running um, your backup bikes when you take your bike in for an overall at the shop you can easily switch them over um, to those bikes it's always nice for both the computers your lights um, any accessories that they have Next on the list um, are some tools. So a spoke wrench is a small little item that can sneak into the stocking stuffer, sneak into the stocking, as well as a Y tool. Um, spoke wrench, those are always nice to have extras um, for multiple bags that you use for all your biking adventures. Um, if if they're someone who carries extra spokes. Um, having a spoke wrench obviously to help you get um, your broken spoke fixed is nice um, or to just have a couple of them so that they're easy to grab you don't have to look for it um, the Y tool is nice so you don't have to have multiple tools if you've got a Y tool like that um, 90 95 percent of the um, small screws on your bike if not all the small screws on your bike, you're going to be able to do with one tool and not have to keep track of multiple tools. So those are nice, and both of those, again, are nice. Um, just small tools that they can put into their frame-mounted bag and help them in the emergency situations. Cleats are an item that is going to get consumed and used up quite a bit. It's an item that's neglected when it's consumed quite a bit, I should say. Um, so if they're still functioning and um, you're, you're able to stay relatively clipped in, then it gets neglected a lot of times. Um, but the cycling experience can be improved if you upgrade your cleats, you get new cleats, and stop using the old ones. Um, along the same lines as cleats, obviously, are cleat covers. So um, they're really, really good for the road rider. Um, the road rider sometimes spends um, so much time on their bike on long distances. You know, if they're um, biking out of their garage, then they're on the bike in their garage. They ride out, um, you know, and they may go 30, 40 50 miles come back into the garage and so cleat covers are something that they've never thought of but when they're at events which is you know once in a while when you compare it to the majority of their cycling um, if they're if they're just doing a few events a year then they're going to be walking around more than when they are biking at home so cleat covers are nice it's kind of an afterthought for a lot of people um, but if they have them then they're going to use them like crazy um, they're nice for group rides while you're waiting on everybody else, or they're nice for cycling around town. If you need to go into a shop, um, into a convenience store, grab something real quick and come back out. Um, definitely something nice to have, especially for the road cyclist, um, for the trail cyclist, 
Um, not quite as important because usually their shoes are um, made a little bit better for walking on the trail and in the dirt. They have a smaller cleat that's up, kind of up inside the um, thickness of the sole, um, so it doesn't touch the ground as much. Um, but um, they're still nice to have, definitely mainly geared towards the road rider though. Talking about cleat covers, what that brings to mind is toe covers for the shoe especially you know christmas time a lot of people are buying snuggies buying warm socks for people um, those are always nice gifts to get nice comfy gifts to get for christmas kind of the cycling enthusiast um, equivalent to that is going to be toe covers or any type of warm gear that you would wear gloves obviously can help keep the cyclist warm in the winter time but the regular gloves that they use during the spring and summer uh, may get used up quite a bit, um, get used and get worn out quite a bit. Um, so gloves are nice to have. Again, backup gloves if they're going to events. Um, gloves are an item that can be forgotten, and then you don't have them for the event, and it just makes the event um, less enjoyable. Obviously, there's warm gloves that are made specifically for cycling to help keep you cool. Um, you know, as you bike 15, 20 miles an hour or faster, um, you know, that's a pretty decent win that gets you, uh, pretty chilly. So you can get, um, some nice cycling gloves, keep their hands warm, improve the cycling experience. And you're talking about gloves and the hands, the hands go on the grips. Grips are something that get neglected. Um, so changing out the grips the, that's something you can just look um, at your friend or loved one's bike and see how worn out they are if they're starting to look worn out then getting them some grips is something they're going to appreciate usually they'll get pushed until they just about fall off it's not something um, they necessarily get for themselves so if, but if you get it for them they're going to replace them out right away the other thing that really gets pushed a lot more when you talk about road bikes, so grips for flat bar bikes, but for drop bar bikes, road bikes, is the grip tape or the bar tape, I should say. So bar tape takes a little bit of labor to get it swapped out. So, and it's um, also, you know, some rolls of the bar tape can be 40, 50 bucks. So it's something that really gets pushed farther and farther and farther down. Um, it gets really gross looking. And again, it has to be just about like half of the tape has to be almost all the way falling off or really loose before some cyclists will replace it. But if somebody else spends the 40, 50 bucks on them, um, then they're going to take the time to swap out their tape. And then um, as soon as they're um, riding again, it's going to make their cycling experience enjoyable. So that's all we have for stocking stuffers here at Spin Zone in Granger, Indiana. Comment below what we've missed. Be sure to share it with your friends and loved ones. And thanks for watching.